Hey, good morning. Hey, how's it going? I've been watching so many games today. <laughs> mostly, mostly oh my gosh. Championship games. Oh wait, I hear you in too, in too many places. Just a second. Well, right now I'm drinking some wine to celebrate your big kill. <laughs> <laughs> I've been also watching the uh, US Open female final between Serena and a uh, Romanian living in Canada. And that was quite a surprise uh, that the outsider won. Impressive how you killed that nice. dragon. Well, I'm still struggling to, yeah. to keep my camera working. That's a problem. I, I installed uh, uh, the operating system like twice already. And I still have issues keeping the camera working properly. I don't know, maybe it's some, something related to the USB port. It's just a hassle. Were you streaming at the same time that you were like Skyping or something or no, using the same uh, camera? No, no, no. Uh, earlier we, we tried during the stream. Well, the stream was uh, hosted by my Twitch partner, uh, Liu, and we used okay. Hangouts. And every two or three minutes, the camera would just go off. And the camera was not using i mean it wasn't used by a, another software or anything like that okay ah i should have seen the previous game <laughs> but anyway i mean i did yeah, kind of updates I, I tried to update the driver several times and it, it works for a while and then it keeps unplugging from the usb i mean when you check the device manager it starts uh you know just going up and down it's crazy I think right now it's working. Let me try to turn it on. Let's see. You should see me now. Uh, yes. so yeah, I working. do. But I don't know if it stays on for a long time. Or... We we can leave it on. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. Do I have your camera set up? One second. Oop. No, that's not the right one. And I figured out the sound thing. Well, there are still so many buttons to check on this thing. But I guess the, the voice quality is not so bad anymore. Oh, I don't actually have your camera set up on Skype. I'll have to do oh, that okay. another time. Yeah, I apologize. No, no. Leave the picture uh, on. Focus on the game. <laughs> so now when the camera is working, we can't use it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We can do that next week. Sorry about that. Don't worry. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully sure. it, will, it will work. I don't know. I'm sure it will. I would prefer uh, to have your camera on here. It's so not, would... Yeah. It's not on a laptop, it's on a desktop. But anyway, I've been investigating many fixing uh, videos on YouTube and I tried lots of facilities. It seems to be working now, but I don't know for how long. So we'll see. Time for Baduk. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He should resign for a long time. With that central dragon completely it, then. Yeah, he's just trying to find something. Waiting for your blunder on your side. That's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. And now he's gonna try and squeeze. Yeah, but he's hopeless. Well in the That's beginning right. he had a pretty good start in the top. You you shouldn't connect that G three. You better connect G G five. And when you connect G3 in the top and he cuts, uh, you need to extend to space jump towards the right. Instead of I3, you could play J3. Anyway, we can have a quick look after you finish this game. At least mm -hmm. in the beginning, till the dragon died. Then it's no longer <laughs> interesting. Oh, Atari. Yeah. <clears throat> He's got like three liberties, so this is just minus. Yeah. Did you win more games this last time? Uh, no, I think I lost my first two games. Yeah, but you, you look good now. You're four wins away. So after yes. this game, it will be three wins. Last time was something like eight <laughs> wins to go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I brought myself back up from the brink like the other day. Oh, I see. 
I think on Wednesday. That's good. And the last case, you died big, or what happened? I mean, on Wednesday. Yeah, my first two games. Wait, I looks like I have a win here that I didn't expect <clears> to <throat> have. <laughs> so my first two games, I just blundered massively. Ah, you lost on time. Great. Yeah. I won. That's a... Let's have a quick review. <laughs> he disconnected many times, then, or he just let the time run? Yeah, he disconnected many times. Yeah. Review. That's a weird way to lose a game. Maybe he did it on purpose, instead of hitting the reset button. Uh, I think he just had connection oh, issues. Okay. That's my intuition of it. Okay. Got the review open. Yeah, I go back to the first few moves. Top left corner didn't go so well. Became over concentrated quickly. Yeah, I got so, so when when he plays this kind of move, F4, it's actually good for you. <clears throat> so after this attack, usually you gotta connect up G5, not down. Because okay. when you connect down, there's gotcha. no way to go into the corner anymore. Your F3 it's already blocked right. by E3. So you're not going to slide or push or anything like that. You better go for the outside influence mm -hmm. and let him have the stone G3. And now when he cuts, it's fine to extend in the middle. So you fight a little bit and he extends to the right. And here you can jump to space for a base. You're not going to be oh, okay. cut. Because when he plays the attach, you hunt under and then you connect. Gotcha. So you play the one space jump and then he jumps here. Ah, it doesn't work to, to capture those stones, you know what I mean? No, it doesn't. I found that maybe, out the hard maybe way. <laughs> you should try uh, either a Kosumi, the G7. So you okay. don't let him surround your two stones. Then when he jumps to the right, probably he'll play something like J5 or put some pressure in the top. Uh, then you mm -hmm. get ahead in the top. So you play K4 and so on. Yeah. And you're not running alone yep. in the middle. So there will be some uh, chase fight in the center, but you're fine. So then you jump, and then on the left side, you might uh, approach C9 and then jump to C6 or things like that. You don't decide right now if you play uh, D6 and cross cut. You better wait and see how things gotcha. develop in the middle. And then, yeah, so okay. back to the original game. You tried a, a fake net that failed yep. miserably. Oh, OK. That was yes. Honey. Well, it wasn't um, so bad. Yeah, you the two stones, but you got a lot of profit in the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he could he could just play some honey instead of playing all those attacks like uh, J4. Now this is good for you. The top side looks really nice, and instead of taking the stone, you should probably play a shimari at O4. Uh, okay. But yeah. it, it's not too bad to capture that guy. And now when he enters the top side, you should pin sir. Yeah, you should so just, yeah, uh... put a lot of pressure. Or if okay. you kick, you can kick, but then you don't have to answer on the right. You should pincer again. For some reason, mm -hmm. white got the way too easy in the top. So then your influence just simply disappears. If he pulls back here and he leaves, it's uh, too comfortable for white. Yeah, he should just push. He doesn't yeah. need that move. The push he can play anytime, this J3. So this way you gave him a lot gotcha. on the top. And then you didn't compensate so much uh, in the top right. So this mm -hmm. feels a little better for white. Then he died with half gotcha. board. I don't know how he managed, but that was good for you. <laughs> and and you, don't, <laughs> you don't need these moves at P2 and so on. Actually, in the top right, you better play Han and connect. Or you push again. Oh. Uh, I mean O2. If you play O2 and connect, he will play another move, uh, like Kema. M, uh, M5. No, he needs to expand because, M5. like, this is still pretty much eyeless. Yeah, M5. Uh, no, no, that's M5, oh, Michael 5, the one on the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so right. Pre yeah, it prevents your M4 approach because that will force his eyes. But you don't need to, to play anything, actually. You gotta let him like this, and then you center and you evade the left side. C17 okay. or C14, something like that. <clears throat> play the most open places. Well, you went down, then you play this move. You should hunt here. Uh, I mean, instead instead oh. of P5, hunt it first. 
Han är 07. No, no, no. 07. Istället för oh. the Nobel. Come around the side, no, no, right, no. right, right, right. Instead of P5. And do two more. <clears throat> yeah, instead of this move. And do one. Yeah, now Han. Gotcha. <clears throat> and then when he Nobles. Or even if he, if he plays P5. Yeah, now, now you can play uh, P5. Or you can even push again. And then he will play probably a bamboo connection. No, no, when you play P5, he will play the bamboo. When you push like this, oh. he is probably going to go P5 and then Atari and Hane. But you gotta take center here. And don't, maybe you try too hard to kill this group, but you don't have to. Let it leave small and then go gotcha. away. So you tried okay. that SG, which was nice. This N2, but then you need to connect under. So go back mm -hmm. a little bit to the actual game. Push first, okay, then this one. Now you just have to connect, you don't have to push. You gotta connect under, yeah, because gotcha. he goes Atari, Atari, and then he needs to connect also. So you're taking mm -hmm. away the ice space like that in center. Gotcha. Pushing and Atari, that was just, you know, a little bit of... I had an illusion. Yeah, okay, yeah. you thought you can kill the three stars. Then it makes sense. That works only when you have the outside liberty field at L4. Exactly, yep. <laughs> So, a small hallucination here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay, go back to the game. So here, white is looking good. Oop. And you could Oop. play Hane. Yeah. yeah, this is the actual game. You could play Hane instead of giving him two stones and then Atari. This is not the case where you gotta sacrifice two stones. You could play his move and he plays your move. Right. Yeah. So Hane just... and then Atari. Yep. But all these moves you can play as a cutthroat, so you better accept your hallucination with a push and cut and play away. Yeah, it's all minus for yeah, me. Yeah. No, no for need sure. to con be consistent in mistake. <laughs> I made this mistake, I'm going to yeah. see it through. <laughs> Precisely. Also, at okay. least he can turn left. So it's better to block the way, it's better to block I2 to make sure he will take the two stones directly. Uh -huh. You give him an option to expand a little bit. Well, that's just a minor detail. But still, ah, okay. So he took the stone and then you cannot tie. And here mm -hmm. you can piece her tighter. Q12, P12, or even... Because uh, you want to build more in on the right side. And you're already strong. Yeah. Right. Or even P12, yeah. Okay. Q11 gives him some, some room to maneuver. Or like this, yeah. Okay. But anyway, it's good to be, sir. Okay, that one looks good. Yeah. And then you should... No, 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 don't turn. Play the kick, Q16. Gotcha. So now he has to go up, and he's already over-concentrated. At the base, it's quite narrow. And and this in this case, you play M16 or M17 to keep the pressure on the group. Yeah, he's in trouble. Even if he pushes once R11, you can block, he cuts, you extend, he jumps, you jump. So it's not a big problem. You can fight here. You have more stones in that area than he does. So on the right, okay. okay. And when he goes no B, you jump out. And he has a problem uh, with his M15 group. Exactly. So then he will jump out and you kill one or the other. So I see. the actual game, let's see. You turn. Oh, okay. You should still keep. I mean, okay. bring that Q, Q16, he no piece, and then he's over concentrated. Even if he goes down, he's in trouble. So now again, you play M16. Yep. All right. But uh, the idea is good yeah. to play R16 also. Someone invites to, you to play. chase his weak group. <clears throat> All right, he turns. Ah, that's how he jumped. He could jump further. I mean, M14, go out faster. You can separate that. And when he plays that, you will jump M17. Also to space jump, not just one. To be one step ahead or one line ahead. Okay. But the way he played, you could still jump a little further. You could go all the way to M16. Yeah, here. So I can... Yeah, you can play M16. 
Oh, right. And then, well, anyway, you're not going to kill this group, but you build more because you're strong in the corner. And from M16, you mm -hmm. can extend I17 and so on. Try to build a larger bottom one or territory. Gotcha. Okay. How is the score estimator now? What is uh... good? He's got a lot on the left. So yeah. maybe a little bit questionable. He should still go out with the right side. He should jump O12 or jump M14. Now you, you have to attach C16 now. or attack C14. Yeah, yeah I it's just fine. Did something simple. When you play that one, he should uh, block the corner C16. So in that case, his G16 looks good instead of this attach. He should just double up the right. corner. That's why for Black it's interesting to play C16 or Sun Sun Invasion because you don't want to give him a nice uh, corner in a relationship with G16. I see. But like this he gets over constantly, so Atari. And here you have another option, you can go down. So you can get ah, yeah, straight action. down. either go down or connect up. And here if he cuts, he goes E13, you extend, you can discard that stone, you go lobby. Then he captures the guy at mm -hmm. F14. You can turn in the corner once, Kosumi. No, no, no. Ah, wait. The Satari. Yes, no, oh, the Satari. Other one. It's okay. You can play that one. He connects, and then you turn in the corner, B15, to see how he protects. The proper way for white, when you turn it, Sun Sun, C17. But they are greedy, so they block. Okay. And later they suffer. You just want to see how gotcha. he blocks. And here there's a lot of RG. Uh, with B17, C17, but right now you just extend to the left. You play something like C9, for example. So that's a better way to to make some points on the side. From C9 you can slide, and if he blocks, you don't care so much because you're strong. And on the bottom, uh, you can try B17. But first things first, you should uh, extend J17 if you have a chance. So remember the descent. Uh, right move. Uh, B14. Mm -hmm. Now, the way you connect it, it's also quite okay in this position because he, he becomes over concentrated when he cuts and he captures something around G16. And then from your ex, uh, from the defense at C13, you can still extend pretty ideal on the left side. That happened in the game? Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> so. Something like that. Well, I didn't extend. I did end up extending on the left side because of his attack, oh, so and then that's how I ended up killing the entire middle. Ah, so then he overplayed, so he connected yeah. on the left. Ah, uh, maybe he, yeah, he shouldn't cut here, you can push again. That's what I did. Ah, uh, now Atari, ah, uh, that's so comfortable. Okay, and then hanging, no, no, you should have played the hanging connection, Oop. D11 here. Because you connect and you okay. also put pressure on the stone, and if he doesn't answer, next you play Hane or you jump Kema uh, C9. So you have a follow-up. This is a better shape. The other connection, it's an empty triangle. So you want to play a move mm -hmm. that gives you something uh, next. Gotcha. So... Connect. Okay, he jump. Well, if you invade now, it's not the same thing. He will cost me. But he doesn't even have to. He should attach. He should give you that stone. Yeah, that, that's too much. He should just play on top. Ah, and that, that's how you build the dragon. Oh, yep. wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. And now you connect with the hanging. Oh, you don't need that move. Just H12. Okay. You don't want to attach uh, the weak group. Like this, yeah. And if he jumps, you jump along. And if he plays Kosumi, you play Kema. Yeah. But like this, okay. you can peek first and then jump with Kema to be one step ahead. But anyway, his dragon is going nowhere. It's just going yeah, yeah, yeah. to die. Peek. So it's similar to what mm -hmm. happened in the game. Exactly, exactly. All right. Next game then. Sounds good. All right, let's close that. Let me put my coordinates back up. There we go. And let's get a free game. Free game. If we can. And hopefully, I don't, I don't mention too many coordinates. That's the plan. Someone. <laughs> and maybe we should also uh, tell our opponents about the experiment <laughs> of playing good moves in side mode. Oh, whoops. He asked for a one minute game. Oh, okay. That's too fast. You started already? Yeah. It's fine. Go for it. 
One B? Uh, I'm gonna ah, forfeit no, and quit. That is, uh, yeah, 15 seconds per move, okay. Yeah, it's too fast. He will die big. And faster. Well, I won't learn right. anything that way, though. <laughs> so what you have to remember from, from the, the previous game, even that you killed the large dragon, is that connection. You you got to reconsider if you connect up or down Start or descend. You have all those options. And usually you want to play a move that okay. has potential later in the game. The the connection, it's right. already... The job is done. Then. You cannot move too much from it. Well, you can extend mm -hmm. one way. Uh, you can make a base, but you cannot push into the corner, so... It's not worth saving that zone on the third line. Okay, we have a game. Yeah, I see that. I thought you would play a Shimari to be more fancy, like N4, N3. But I see you like this mini Chinese pattern. I do like the mini Chinese pattern. So here you can consider some moves, yeah, like uh, the pincer. Also you can try other pincers. P12 or so. But that's good. It looks good with the Chinese or the mini Chinese formation. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. That's strange. It's possible, but he should be 16, so time to punish him. Huh? Uh, do I just Q16 or do I. Yeah, you play one Atari and then connect. Okay, that's what I thought. Going down, I well, you have to read if it's possible, but I guess it's not so easy to use that move. Yeah, this is fine. No, I just approach the lower left, I think. Uh, no. You either make a base on the bottom, so you stand, or you turn. I'm not sure about this turn, because uh, R14 is also interesting. So maybe just, I oh. want to go all the way to F17. Yeah. Oh, I see. The, the greedy style. <laughs> uh, totally greedy. Possible, but I think it's it's much more proper just to, to make a base. It's not it's not entirely wrong to go F17 actually, because okay, anyway your group, uh, it's hard to be attacked on right. So yeah, you give him the stone. That's fine. And now, and now just F17. You you need to turn once I think P15, because he can cut you here. Okay. And then if he cuts when you extend, he's got all kind of Ataris, so he answered. And then F17 you said. Yeah, that's yeah. good. And don't forget when you have a, a mini Chinese and also the middle side extension, it's pretty good to get a Shimari in the top right corner. But which one? To work probably... well with the, the extensions. Yeah, probably the large, the N3. Not the large one. The, the oh, I'm sorry. And, and the high one. So you don't want to end up... Flat. Oh, gotcha. This one looks the best in this position because the extension in the top is in the right place. If you play the large one, N3, N4, it feels a little bit over concentrated in a way. But like this, it also looks good with your Q11. So that's a pretty ideal shape. Okay, Desperado. Now what? Uh, I kind of want to just take away yeah. his potential for a right. base at Q7. Good. You could also be more aggressive and try something like P10, but this is just fine. And then? Uh, just jump straight out. Through. Oh, yeah. So like, uh, 011 is fine? Yeah, because you want to uh, have the weaker stone. Mm. This guy is playing fast, but not necessarily uh, perfect. <laughs> so... Probably Kosumi again, just follow him out and... No, the better shape is uh, one space jump instead of Kosumi. So, oh, it's 13. Yeah, that's a good shape. Or push along, yeah, oh, yeah gotcha. this is nice. Because it, it connects pretty well with the bottom stuffs. Mm -hmm. Playing a Kosumi, like M12, still leaves some uh, space for him to maneuver. Oh, okay. Now... This seems like a bad idea for white. Not such a bad idea, but hopefully he doesn't cut you. So, block. You gotta read what happens if he pushes. Okay, that's end game move. But also kind of tricky. Because of the push and cut around all 12. So it, it has a meaning. 
but you don't have to be greedy here. Just block and let him connect under. Because you, you want to be oh, strong so towards the center. Right. Those points are not important right now. He already has life in the corner. He's got those points at Q11, Q18. So if he just grabs an end game here, it's no big deal. <clears throat> so it made you stronger in the middle. And this way, you can attack easier uh, the end ten group. Okay. So he wants to fix that. Two options here, or maybe three. Uh, I think just the honey at P6 is fine. Yeah, honey is an option or pullback. Honey is good. Yeah. He will go up and then ruin the ship. Um, you got to think where he, where he makes I shape here. What's his best move to make I shape locally? Right, he wants this move. Yeah, that's a good mutual point. And now he played in Gote here, the heavy move. So how are you going to mm -hmm. attack the entire thing? I th think I want to start on the left side somehow. So yeah, you, you don't um, have to play directly. You can just try some uh, moves to expand the bottom oil or to invade the left side or put some pressure. You have many options already. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know which moves you're looking at, but let's see. I'm looking at the shoulder hit at D7, yeah, and that's then I'm also looking at... That's nice. Also, you have a, you have to jump on the bottom at F15. So, to ah, increase yeah. the, the moyo, and in the meantime, you know, you're keeping an eye on the weak uh, spots. Okay. This helps you. Oh, looks good. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. And now he'll put, he'll, he's going to push D6. And you can jump here because it connects both to the top. It's a flexible shape. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have two moils. Only one more here. The block. Yeah. Nice. Oof. Well, it's okay. You, you still get a, a strong shape on the outside. Only one move here too. But then you have to think how you and connect. Then... I don't like the double tiger smell. Yeah, it's so also probably good, yeah. F eight. No, the yeah. other one, G seven. Ah. <laughs> don't because... I always get it wrong. <laughs> ah okay, he's taking the smaller stone. It's not so terrible. He shouldn't take that. Keep going down. He plays so many moves for that single stone. And now he has to go down again. Otherwise, you play Atari right away, and that's painful. And now the cut was uh, a bit hasty. Check out the ladder. You don't even need to ladder check. Ladder works it. for me. <laughs> yeah, just play it. Hmm. <clears throat> I forgot to pop out the chat. Hang on. Oh, they're not really talking. Oh, they okay. are. They are listening in rapt attention. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so, he's looking for a leather breaker. That doesn't do it no, at all, though. It won't. But you need to, to pay attention. Uh, luckily, how do you fix this uh, F70? Um, I'm looking at either... No, it's not a free game. It's free. Yeah, it's a free game. I'm looking at either G16 or F15. Mm. Um, but you can try something in the corner. Usually when he's got all these three stones, if he plays another move on D17, the corner gets pretty thick and you're on the run. Jumping out is possible. Okay. In this context, it looks okay, but attaching D17 is the most common play. And Hane just fix gotcha. the corner. Or Tenuki, of course. When you don't know what to play, you play Tenuki and the honey in the corner. Mm -hmm. And you let him choose what he wants. He will probably go Atari and uh, connect or Atari and go down. He can also separate what to do first. These are uh, basic just safety to them. You probably play them many times. I have to cut here. For yeah, you got to cut once. Create some RG. Mm -hmm. He'll turn. F18. All right, and now? 
Uh, is it the double one? Double one, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you can try a uh, different variation, like connecting F16, and then when he goes G18, you play Atari. No, 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 here you could go down. But it's not such a big mistake. I mean, like this, he will play Sente B15 anytime. Anyway, he shouldn't play double Atari. He should have played G15 because you can escape now if you want. Well, you don't have to do it right away. Anyway, you guys play instantly. <laughs> I bought some ages. No, I just thought isolating. But anyway, remember, remember I... to go down B16 instead of taking. That's slightly better. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, go out and pay attention because ladders are on the way. So, several options here. You can push left, you can push right, you can go diagonal, Kosumi, which one? <clears throat> Probably Kosumi is easiest. Chicken move? No. <laughs> Okay, so go straight up. Then uh, F14 is probably what I would do. Yeah, okay. I'm still looking at that ladder, but I think for now you're fine. Double honey, that's a good move. So pay attention again. Cut first, and if he wants to fight the core, you take, and that's it. Cut is good because it gives him an empty triangle. Okay. Sometimes you need to wait, but this cut should be okay. Then you don't want to lose those guys. So where to go? It's too complicated to jump at H15. So I think mm -hmm. extending... Not so sure. You can. Why not? Because if, if he plays okay. a Suji, H14, and you connect and he Hane, you turn with Atari. So it's playable. But you could also Atari and then jump, or you could play... Just uh, G14. Uh-huh. Now I just got a bamboo. Yeah, bamboo, bamboo yeah. is fine. And he captures the stone on the left. But you need to pay attention. How's the ladder now? Now you need to play a sneaky move oh. to expand the bottom oil. And in the meantime, uh, make it a ladder 8 or counter letter breaker see what i mean yeah <clears throat> okay my better this leads too many cutting points oh <laughs> i missed it shoot you were close okay <laughs> it's good but uh, at least so the, the letter I... was okay gotcha you read the letter huh, to see if it connects to this stuff. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> now wait a second the letter is still fine yeah so you don't have to worry on this cut you can Go out, no B to the right. Okay. Well, you help him a little bit in the center, but then you can try a. Oh, wait, that's that's too much fighting speed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he should have taken the stone. Yeah, there's only one move for me. Right. Now, shape point. Only one move again. Good. So you fix your error, but remember to play k instead of those uh, jumps that leave too many cuts. Now you have several moves. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's not a bad move, but you could hane, you could wedge, you could cut. Many options. And now... You... Yeah, I was looking mm -hmm. at give, yeah. giving my opponent less forcing moves. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. It's fine. Yeah. How to play the bottom now? I mean to attack his age 17 a little bit before you try other actions. Uh, I can start at I-18. Yeah, that move. He's not alive yet. If you push next, he dies. And if he blocks, it's still unclear. Ah, he pushes like this. Then he will leave. Just block, let him turn in Gote. Leave it like this. Okay. When you collect J-18 at some point, that will be sent. But you better keep it as a cotret. No need to waste it now. Because if he doesn't answer, okay. next you play Hane E19 and you kill everything. So, how to attack the left side? You shouldn't play instantly all the time. That's the, the way to become a dumb player. You look at the options. I mean, you look at the board and search for, for options. 
for sure. Uh, I've been looking at C12 for quite a while. So. Excellent point. Yeah. Because it takes away the eyes and you're threatening to go out. It has some purposes. It's good. Yeah, if he takes directly, then I'll just D12. But most likely he'll just extend to D12 himself. Oh. I think. Or he's trying to resist a bit. Does this work? Well, usually honey under. If you honey up, he will cut and then he plays all those forcey moves and he also got the Kosumi at uh, B C B fifteen. So normally when you go down B sixteen and he plays B fifteen, you don't need another move. So that makes his B fifteen go there. But oh okay, interesting idea. We saw you capture here. Don't rush. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the B12 stone is fine. Uh, hmm. Maybe a bit busy. I think it's safe, safe to take the other one. Alright. <laughs> Don't lose a good game. Now, yeah, capture directly. Okay. He's not completely alive here. But he can. If he plays... Oh, wait. He, he was supposed to play B16 and then pull back and then... It's almost alive, but now, dangerous. You can try to force his eyes, but take it easy. Play a move that he can play to make eyes. Nine. Mm, probably that one. Ah, I was looking in the center, F11. And then you let oh. him play this one, make an eye on the side, and you force his eye in the middle. Gotcha. You heard me. Good. <laughs> now, Back to the leather problem. Oh no, you had to play Kosumi. Here he can cut you. It's still a critical situation. So you better go up. If you want to keep the pressure. Yep. Mm -hmm. You you trust your uh, intuition too much sometimes. Yeah, I <laughs> sure do. And then, <laughs> the hunter is dead. But this is fine, it's difficult. Oh, okay, so he lived. New target. Mm -hmm. So if you would have played F11 instead of B15, White would still search for the second eye. Gotcha. Now you need to target those uh, stones in the middle. Which direction? To expand your territory while attacking. Uh, I should be playing somewhere like L9 or K9. K9. Nice. Cap. Because this helps you get rid of the RG around G10 and cut. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you live on the left side. Okay. Go Nobi to the left, to the right. Nobi to the right takes away eye shape, but then he cuts easier. No, it's okay. Mm. Play Nobi to the right. It yeah. expands your center or the top area. More. Gotcha. And now he's not really connected. He's losing eye shape. Oh, okay. Now what? Man, push again seems right. Push from the right first, um... from any level. And if he blocks, you push again. Either way, he blocks, you have another nice forcing move. Ah, I see. Because now, if he plays proper, he will play M10, and that's painful. And if he plays this one, you push one more. From the bottom, yeah. And if he plays yeah, that move, now we think for some shape point. Uh, for yeah, my shape, yeah. right? For your two stones. <laughs> I gotta jump, jump somehow. Yeah. Which? And also keep pressure on his loop. And in close territory while attacking. Nine, eight, Many purposes seven, in this particular six, move. Five, so jump. Four. Ah, greedy. <laughs> Not one space. I was thinking, yeah, <laughs> so I was greedy, thinking just yeah. there seven. But it's fine, it's fine. You can try that. And on the honey, you need to pay attention. Now, now you fix the shape with a table shape. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could also hunt, actually. But yeah, I was about to hunt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this move, you can let him uh, have one stone. So he close the top side, jump again, play flexible. M5. Because if he cuts, you go out there under. And he's still in trouble with everything. It's more interesting to build the top than to uh, take care of one or two stones. 
And here it's tricky for gotcha. him because you can you should block solid even if there's a core. Gotcha. <clears throat> and now connect under. And he makes some eyes in Gote. Wow, so many stones for one eye. And okay. Let's look all over the place. I wanna take this one just for giggles. Yeah, that's Sorry. good, that's good. <laughs> that's fine. Time pressure move, I understand. And then go down in the top. End game time. F2. Because ah. like this you get rid of the IG in okay. the center when he tries G5 and so on. And everything is centered there. You can hide on the first line and so on. And okay. then surround the middle at I8 and he's done. You don't have to kill anything. Check the SE. Or ES in this case. Black plus 50. Oh, yeah, Such a peaceful game. <laughs> The top territory, oh, okay, don't answer this. Fighting spirit. He's already alive on the right side, so jump into the top left corner. Continue from F2. And then if you capture the two stones in the middle, oh, okay, if he does this, you connect. Uh, this one, push once. Because then you have Hane, Atari, and actually double Atari. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can still cut him if you want. Oh, yeah, just straight right the B3 yeah. cut? I want to see if he plays the cut and then you double Atari. Or you put... Yeah, okay. He's giving you two stones. So wait a second. Which is bigger. Yeah, take those two. Double Atari and capture two stones. Then you don't have to worry about G5 cut. He should take. And then when you capture two stones, you have another Atari coming from above. But that's just like the small end game stage of the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take that. Declaration of victory. So the top side is the territory you have extra. Pretty much. Uh, no need to lose those. So connect solid. <clears throat> okay, from now on you can play as fast as you like. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're 50 points ahead, now you don't have to think. Yeah. <laughs> it's not true at all. Keep, I yeah. lose games like this all the time. Keep, keep, keep <laughs> yourselves connected, but don't, don't worry about killing anything anymore. Uh -huh. What was this? Pass? All right, that was a nice pass move. So you can defend the middle, huh? Yeah. Good. That's a nice move. You connect the two stones and you're threatening to cut. So it serves for several good reasons. Oh, and push again. He connected completely wrong. He should just connect solid. Because now you push again and he connects. So he lost one move. Now, how to play on the bottom side? Uh, I can just connect J18 to start. Oh, or yeah, I can... J18 is good. He needs to descend and leave E19. And then Atari M18. Good, now your play makes sense. Ah, play like that, <laughs> okay. Then attack again, or keep it for as a co-threat. And now maybe some, some jump in the middle. Huh? So you prevent his peeps and so on. Oh. I mean, M15, or you can peep L14 and then connect. Oh, Not I see, close that, that middle, area. yeah. The bottom middle. Yeah, and even connect, yeah. It's like 10 extra points. Hang on, this is got yeah? Yes. Then you gotta play another move in the center. Around L7 or so. I think he can peep and connect. There is some edge there. Okay. Yeah, he could, he could play L6. These two stones are 4 points. Okay. Oops. Take them. No problem. It's fine because then you push I11 and you destroy it. Okay, you don't. <laughs> and maybe you should play that Atari on the left. D5. <clears throat> but don't connect the stone. Play one Atari and push on the second line.
push on the second line uh, b7. And if he doesn't answer, then you push again, and then you connect the stone. If he answers, you don't care. You can connect the stone and then push, but for now he's got it. So you probably find a better move than that. How about R13? Mm. Yeah, I've been looking at that for like the last six moves. <laughs> like, is it time for R13 yet? <laughs> anytime, anytime. <laughs> okay, connect. When he plays the Kosumi, yep. uh, you can... Oh, okay, you can play the Kosumi then. So R10? Yeah, and then go down R8, threatening to connect under so he doesn't get to play any center moves there. He will get a few extra points. Not many, but... Yeah, just block. And then, let's look all over the board. Connect the core on the left side. <clears throat> so then you can capture one stone and connect under. So you always have a follow-up. Or at least you try to have. Okay. Yeah, I've been noticing that I have trouble thinking about... Like, I have sequences in mind, but I have trouble chaining them together. Mm -hmm. Properly. I know what you mean. Like, I've noticed that. But that's yeah. from playing too quick. You got a cut here. No, no need to think. Then he goes Atari Atari, and that's it. He destroys a couple of points there. But it's not a big deal, because with the Hane, he lost some points. He's losing that stone, so when he plays Atari, oh, okay. He's dreaming he can connect. Now he's losing more. Yeah. But he's desperate. We get that. Ah, okay. No be up or down. Or nothing. Nothing uh... and, and try to kill anyway. <laughs> yeah, how about ignore? Let's challenge him. Yeah, ignore? play play B B thirteen. Okay. I wanna see how you kill. If you ignore first. <laughs> it's supposed to die. You're very strong in the top. So why not kill in center? Ah, okay. Now, good luck. You're, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> why did you ignore? You don't have to follow me anytime. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can kill this anyway. <laughs> mm. ah, now it gets tricky. Go out here. You, you could just no big. Play K3 because he doesn't have enough oh, yeah, space yeah. to leave towards the left. But now... How to? So my go time. Think about the base, the space. You don't have to rush here. Yeah? 20, 30 seconds every move. So block his expansion towards the top. Nine. If you make okay. another mistake, you might be yeah, this first. Is good. And if he pushes, you pull back. You don't block. Mm -hmm. And if he goes down, maybe with an okay again. For fun. <laughs> or you cut. If you cut, you it's fine. You mean the, the uh, yeah. J... -T yeah, you play that pip, so yeah. I guess that was the reason. But a little bit more dangerous than expected. Pull back. And now block. Yeah. And then he can still try some co-fight. Not so easy. Mm -hmm. You should normally just no B, L3, and even if he extends to the left, then you have the vital point at I2 and you connect one way or the other. But it's fine. Block. Let him hope. And go out. And go out again. And stop. Stop and think. Yeah, he's trying to isolate yeah, the middle <laughs> stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't work. Oh. I don't think so. He's really trying hard to trick you. Yeah, like that. Okay. But that's a total failure. Yo, yo, me now he can't cut. Too bad. So I was right to mention Tenuki in the top. <laughs> <laughs> that was a test. So captured. You don't you don't have to play chicken moves or two uh, 
defensive just because you're 50 points ahead. You got to read all the time. Okay. If you can't, then okay, and play other things. And it doesn't mean you're greedy, you're just realistic. Hopefully. Atari connects. That's pretty big. Now you're 70 points ahead. Oh, okay. Ah, sneaky. But it doesn't work. He wants to attack and go down and hope for the best. He's really trying hard to get something back. We should tell the guy you're playing a 9 down. <laughs> or, or with a 9 down <laughs> over your shoulder. But probably capture another stop. And then let's see. Is he Sente? Hang on. Yeah, let's connect on the left side. A14. Another test. A14. That's a couple of points. Maybe three. Oh, gotcha. So if he captures the core, you take the stone, then he tries to leave mm -hmm. and he fails. So it's the second time he died with the top. In God. Take. It's an arrogant style of winning. To keep the looking and still kill the uh, you know how to kill this, right? No, I could just find. But luckily this was yeah. sent. Okay, okay. You make it clean. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Another got there. So play, play moves is, where he yeah. could play sent. Like in the middle, those pushes. Prevent that. Pushes, pushes. This one? L13, I was thinking. Oh. Oh, okay. That, that one is oh, fine. It's fine. This middle. Because next you destroy two points, but... Yeah, he can push L13, he can play Atari, he can push again L16. You should block the other one, because this one is just one point. Oh, wait. Is this center? Pay attention. Yeah, bark, 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 bark. Is. Yeah, so where do you connect? Oh, let's do it this way. Bravo. Phew. Atari, this is center for sure. Okay, very sneaky. Push through. And double Atari. As you like. Or triple Atari. <laughs> There's so many Atari's. Atari. Yeah, this is a triple Atari. No? Or a quadruple Atari. <laughs> there are one, two, three, four stones in Atari. Alright. Wait, is this center? No, why? It wasn't uh, sent in. <laughs> okay, connect. This, this kind of reflex plays you need to forget about. So he can push one more in center. Hang on. In the middle at L13, those are two points. He pushes and he goes Atari. So you better play L13. And then when he goes Atari, you connect. And you lose only one point. But I don't mind if you play fast, but play the right move all the time. The 100%. <laughs> If you're going to play fast, play right. Yeah, play fast, <laughs> play. Yeah. The obvious moves. <laughs> this was good. You didn't right. kill much. But his top group died three times in Gote. Nice. It, was, it could have been four if you don't capture a G2, I think. Mean. Mm -hmm. Anyway, good luck with the next games. I'll see you next okay. week, most likely. Yeah, thanks so much for the All lesson. Right. Thank you, too. Have a good Sunday. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, you too. Yes. Bye. All right, and as I like to remind everyone, be sure to support Cornell on his channel, which is twitch.tv slash CornellGo. Um, if you are interested in lessons, his lessons are extremely reasonable, extremely valuable. I learn so much every single time. Sometimes I don't retain it because I'm a little bit slow at learning things sometimes. But yeah, I've come a really long way under his instruction. So it's a good time. Um, yeah, and he's been teaching for like 20 years or something. So he's an excellent and very patient teacher. Uh, and he's, gosh, seven Don EGF. So yeah, it looks like he's going to be streaming a lesson with someone else who's a little bit stronger tomorrow. So that should be cool for watching. 
Um, if you enjoy this content and want to keep it going, of course, your subscriptions, your bits, and your cheers, and your donations all help that. I do pay Cornell for his time. So um, those donations help. Of course, you don't have to financially support it. You guys just being here, uh, hanging out and learning and laughing with me is quite enough for me. 